Hi guys, welcome back to Kala Poshana. This is Vishnu. I got lot of love and support for making this beautiful mini size petam and lot of people have asked me to make it in larger version. In today's video, I am going to make this beautiful large size mandala and uh, muggu size petam. It's very easy to make. Please follow along. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Now, without any delay, let's get started on how to make this beautiful large size wooden puja petam. I found these candlesticks, which turned out perfect for my puja petam's feet. I attached two of them together to get the desired height. Using good glue and E6000, I attached them together and let it dry overnight. Here I am using 16 by 14 inch uh, finished clay wood which comes with finished corners. I always mark the corners so that they are aligned when you attach the feet to the base. My pita is all dried up so I just let it dry overnight and it's all dried now and it's ready to be painted. So here I'm gonna paint this uh, with spray paint so I'm just uh, outdoors in my garden I just laid some plastic sheets here I secured it with some stone so that uh, it doesn't fall on paint when it's painted um, and then I'm gonna paint this with a uh, paint which has both primer and paint uh, I'm not gonna do a white uh, coat first because if, uh, if you're using just acrylic paint I suggest we do like one uh, coat of white color and then add the paint so that it enhances the color but here i'm gonna use spray paint with both primer and paint i'm not gonna do white coat i'm just gonna do two coats of um, brown color on top of this and then first coat i'm gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna do another coat here i just have like a, um, i always use this for my spray painting so i'm gonna put it here and then i'm gonna start painting from the back side so I always like to do first from the back side and then do the front side so that, you know, I don't get any kind of, uh, uh, sometimes you get scratches because you're doing it on top of this. So I just love to do the back side first and then I do two coats on the back side and then turn it around and then remove this one and then put it like this and do two coats here on the top so that you will get even surface and nothing, you get like any dents or anything when you paint. So that you know it's difficult to once the spray paint is done if you have any lumps it's difficult to uh, uh, scrub it and then redo it so that's why i always try to do i do it with like back side first and then when it is dried i turn it around and do front side so now let's get painting so i just wear a gloves all the time when i'm doing spray painting and then wear a mask so that it doesn't get into your nose it's all dried I'm gonna turn this around I did two two coats of paint so I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna just lay it down and then if you see any uh, place where the paint is not done so now we'll cover it up when we're doing the top side so I'm gonna do two coats here and then I'm gonna let it dry and then once it's drying I'm gonna take a break and come back So 
So I finished two coats uh, of the paint uh, from the French side. So I'm going to let it dry for an hour and then take this inside so that no dust particles would stay on this because it would be dried in like two hours, completely dry in two hours. So I'm going to just take it inside after an hour and then uh, let it dry completely and start painting on it. Here using a ruler, I marked the center first and later added the dots for uh, creating my rangoli design. Here I am using the paint pen to mark my outline for the muku design across the petum. Later I am gonna paint this. Here I am drawing a circle which is like one inch from the last dot on the muku and then later I placed the high load design across this and created my rangoli design. I finished the outline of the Muggu design across the petum. Now I am going to paint it with a zero size brush and white paint. If you are going to use the paint pen, I would suggest adding at least two coats of the Rangoli design to get the desired white color look on this petum. I finished painting the Rangoli design, now I am adding the dots using hairpin. For the circular Rangoli, I added like mandala dots to give it little out of the box uh, column design and it looks so beautiful adding these dots across the column design.
completed the borders and added like dots to the feet and once all the design is completed I added like UV protection varnish to the wooden puja pattern. Beautiful puja pitam is ready and it can be made in any colors of your choice. Here I have made some more in like white color combinations. I hope you get some ideas. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer these. Once again, thank you very much for watching.